Have you heard of the new Facebook social inbox? They make a good point. Email is social. You are right. My Lotus Notes email is a huge information store of people I work with. My own sent mail folder has 6,000 entries and 1,000 unique names. Facebook categorizes mail by friends and others. Does Lotus Notes offer this feature? Not until now. Frank Paolino, a Lotus Notes business partner, has a development project that makes Lotus Notes email social. He calls it preferred email. How does it work? It sounds complicated. Actually, it is simple. All inbound mail is checked against the list of people in the sent mail folder. If there is a match, it shows up in your inbox. And the messages that do not match? They show up in a folder called Other. I would like to see this new idea working in a Lotus Notes mailbox. Here is my demonstration project to attempt to build a Facebook style social inbox for Lotus Notes. This is what I've built so far to see if this idea is feasible. First my Lotus Notes email and yours is a great big information store. It reflects all of my social circle, people that I regularly correspond with. My own sent folder has 6,000 entries and 1,000 unique names that I have sent mail to. For my sent folder I can then determine my important contacts. These people, these important contacts, when they mail me, will show up in my inbox. In addition, all Lotus Notes users in my organization also show up in my inbox as they are already in my social and business circle. The other folder is new. If I have never emailed a sender, then they automatically show up in the other folder, which, in my test, I found myself checking two to three times a day. As you can see, there's a variety of communications that go on here with people I have never sent an outbound mail to. What if I find an email that I want to always appear in the inbox? I just drag it to the preferred list, and that is now my new preference. So take, for example, this LinkedIn notification. I just drag it to my preferred senders, and from now on, that will show up in my inbox and not on my other list. On the other hand, if I want someone to appear in the other or junk folder, I can do that too by grabbing their email and dragging it to the junk list. And I can always change my mind later, again, just by dragging and dropping to the new folder. When I want to view the list that I've made, I can review the choices by clicking on the lists. These, this is my preferred senders list. So in my test so far, I have found that it be a great way to segregate out my mail between the people I know and my important contacts and people I, I have very little contact with.